This is Burkhard Bilger. I've written an article for The New Yorker on Chef Homer Sean Brock at the restaurants Husk and McCready's in Charleston. Brock isn't your usual celebrity chef. He comes across as a kind of a country boy. He grew up in the coal fields of, of western Virginia and um, has a big tattoo on one of his arms and still has a tiny trace of a southern twang. Here we're seeing Sean in the kitchen at McCready's, the kind of more modern of the two restaurants where he's a chef. When he's working in a place like that, he's got a real intensity about him. He's, he's this quiet individual who can then certainly burst out in a laugh or in the old days especially I think could burst out in anger if something wasn't exactly to his specifications. He likes to say that he wants to be Buddhist in the kitchen and he's probably gotten a little closer to that and he credits that whole serenity in his in his style or the, the occasional serenity in his style to doing more and more work as a farmer and just spending time alone in a field and kind of getting a little bit of that kind of earthbound rhythm back into his life. He's had this kind of reverse evolution where he's gone from high-end cooking and very fastidious platings of, of food and then rediscovered his southern roots, these foods that he had grown up eating that a lot of America, a lot of the South really had forgotten about or wasn't really eating anymore. One of the habits that is typical of his cooking is what he calls seed to stock cooking. It kind of means that you'll use every part of a plant in its life cycle. And in some of his dishes, you'll have just dozens and dozens of flowers and sprouts and shoots and leaves of every kind of local plant. And it, it's not only gorgeous, but it just has this explosive flavor where when you're eating it, you feel like you're kind of eating the landscape itself. <laughs> <laughs> 